Hey guys, what's up? It's Mac, and yes, I am a man, and yes, I have gone to the gynecologist. Mac, how is that possible? Everyone knows the gynecologist is for women, for womenly parts. Psh, bish please. I got parts like that. Uh... So for women, girls, I believe it is recommended that once you're 21 years of age, you start getting regular checkups at the gynecologist, which is the doctor, you know, that checks out your womanly junk. So that's fun. That I don't think is fun really for anyone. So why would you want to go get that inspected by someone that sounds literally awful? However, if you are a man that has to go get your womanly parts checked out, that can be very traumatic because I am very dysphoric about my junk. It makes me think like, oh my God, like you're not a man. Like I see that every day. Like, ah, no one's gonna think you're a man. I don't think like I'm a man by just looking at that. Nah. Ugh. So to have someone poking and clawing around down there and like looking at it straight up, uh, no. So I've been kind of just putting it off and not making an appointment. But one of my trans guy friends just had a, um, run-in with the uterus, meaning um, he had like a cyst removed from his uterus and then he had to get a hysterectomy and so I was freaking out like, oh my god, like maybe I need to have some shit checked out down there. Like, oh, I feel like I should go get stuff checked out as uncomfortable as that is going to be. So my friend's uh, gynecologist was supposedly very trans friendly. So I'm, okay, cool, I'll, I'll give this guy a call. So I call up the office and they're like, you know, this is the hospital's women's clinic. Like, how can we help you? And I'm like, um, hi, my name is Mac and I needed to make an appointment with Dr. So-and-so. And they're like, um, sir, we just told you this is the women's clinic. Like, do you have the wrong department? Do you want me to transfer you to the right department? And I said, no, Dr. So-and-so works in this department, correct? And they're like, yes, that's correct. Like, maybe you mean Dr. So-and-so in this department. And I'm like, no, I need to make an appointment. Sir, this is, this is the women's clinic. <sighs> Are you gonna make me say it? I'm a trans man. I need an appointment with Dr. So-and-so. Oh, okay, cool. Like, let's schedule an appointment. Okay, uh -huh. Nervous laughter. So, I walk into the women's clinic. Big letters, big sign on the front of the door. Walk into the women's clinic and there's a line already lined up at like 8 a.m. There's a line of women. Some of them are pregnant women. Some of them are, I guess, there to see Dr. So-and-so. And so I, I get in line and women are starting to stare at me. Like, what is this guy doing? Like, is he here with his pregnant wife or pregnant girlfriend? Like, we don't see him with some pregnant lady. Like, why is he here? So I finally get up to the desk and again, the receptionist says, um, sir, Sir, this is the women's clinic? Like, th this is the women's clinic. Yes, I'm here to see Dr. So-and-so. Oh, okay, like, just fill out these forms, I guess. And I just kind of say, thanks, and go sit down. And then I get called back, and it was really embarrassing because they call Mac, and all the women who are sitting in the waiting room, you know, look at me, and I just, like, walk back in the women's clinic to the doctor's office. So that was awful. And then, you know, I'm back there and Dr. So-and-so comes in and he's super, super, super cool. He just comes in and he's like, oh, hey, Mac, how you doing? And he's like, yeah, so let's like, talk about your history. Yeah, so like, when was like your last period? When was that? When was this? And he's like, yeah, so you've been on testosterone for like, okay, cool. Like, how, how long? Awesome, cool. He's like, yeah, I've seen a lot of guys, like trans guys are like one of my specialties, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, that's that's just really cool. Like, you know, I'm thinking this guy's being awesome. Like nothing weird is going on here. Like, is it time for me to go yet? And he says, okay, yeah. So like, have you ever had a pap smear? And a pap smear, without getting too graphic, is kind of where they have like a swab thing and they go all up in there, swab some stuff way up in there and then run tests on it to find out God knows what, I don't know. And I just say, no, I've never been to the OBGYN before, like, LOL, SOS, send help. Please point me in the direction of the exit, sir. So he's like, oh, ha 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 ha, here's your little paper gown, change into this and I'll be right back. 
put it on, he comes back, and he comes with a nurse. And like, I was okay with him, you know, you know this is what he went to school for, you know, he's seen many of Vaheen, he has you know, like I was just getting used to the idea of just him going down there for a hot two seconds. I wasn't about to have some nurse come and like stare and supervise the process. My queer little soul can't take it. I'm having heart palpitations. And he's like, okay, here's the stirrups. And like, you have to put your feet like up in stirrups, you know, like that, which is very weird, very uncomfortable. I hated every second of it. So after he was done, you know, he was very, very professional about it. He was like, okay, cool, man. Like, see you later. Yeah, you're gonna have your test results like in a couple weeks. Like, no big deal. All right, dude, it was nice meeting you, man, blah, blah, blah. And then he leaves and I leave. And so I, at this point, um, he, even though he was very, very nice about it and he was very cool and very like accepting, I was feeling like emotionally drained from this experience because of the whole, this is the women's clinic, sir. Like, this is the women's clinic. Oh, you're trans. Okay, you qualify as a woman then. She didn't say that, but obviously she was thinking that. And then I go back there and like, he's asking me questions about the downstairs areas. And then him and his nurse come in and like are right up in there. Their faces are straight up inspecting me. I was feeling just like very, very, very dysphoric. And so I went out like the rest of my day, like I was just feeling like, death. Like, oh my god, I hate my life. This is the worst. Like, I can't believe this traumatic experience just happened. It was awful. <laughs> but I guess for, you know, being a trans guy that has to go to the gynecologist, it was about as good as the situation could have happened. So if you are a trans guy and you are about the age of 21, it is recommended still that you go get regular checkups with the gynecologist as horrible as it sounds and is it is still an important part of your health um and it you should do it so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and comment down below share this video on my channel with your friends and if you haven't followed me on social media what are you doing the links are in the description thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time